Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will design a Turing machine for accepting all the strings of the form a power n, b power n, c power n for all n greater than equal to one. That is, the number of a's, number of b's, and number of c's all are equal, and all a's comes first, which are followed by all the b's, followed by all the c's. For example, smallest string of this type is a b c when n is equal to 1 for n is equal to 2 the string is 2 a's followed by 2 b's followed by 2 c's for n is equal to 3 the string is 3 a's followed by 3 b's followed by 3 c's and so on so we are having such type of strings in this language and we have to design a turing machine for accepting this language first we will see how Turing machine will decide when to accept the language and when to reject the language. Let us take an example. For n is equal to three, we have three a's followed by three b's followed by three c's. In the first iteration, Turing machine will delete the leftmost a, and for the leftmost a, it will delete the first b and first c, replace the a with x, b with y, and c with z. In the second iteration, Turing machine will delete the second a and for the second a turing machine will delete second b and second c replace the a with x b with y and c with z so turing machine will keep on doing this iteratively and at the end turing machine will be left with all the x followed by all the y's followed by all the z but no a's b's or c's that means to a all the a's b's and c's should be depleted or we can say vanish together and if this condition is satisfied turing machine will accept this language or accept this string let us check one more example to see how many states we require in this turing machine for n is equal to 2 we have 2 a's follow, followed by 2 b's followed by 2 c's Initially Q0 is pointing to the leftmost a on reading a Q0 will replace it with x takes a right move and changes its state to Q1 okay next we have to delete this first b and first c so turing machine will skip this a so as to reach to the next symbol which is the first b so Q1 on reading symbol p will replace it with y takes a right move and changes its state to Q2 Now Q2 will skip this B, takes a right move so as to reach to the next symbol, which is C. Q2 on reading C will replace it with Z, takes a left move and changes its state to Q3. Now responsibility of Q3 is to keep moving towards the left so as to reach the next A. So Q3 will skip this B, Y, and A while moving towards the left, and as soon as Q3 reaches this X. Turing machine will realize that it has moved one step extra. So Q3 on reading X will take a right move and changes its state to Q0. Now we have reached the state from where we started that is the state Q0 which means we have completed one iteration and in this iteration Turing machine has replaced first A with X, first B with Y and first C with Z. Let us take some observations from the first iteration before moving further to the next iteration. These observations will help us in designing the transition diagram later for this Turing machine. In the first iteration, Q1 has skipped all the A's, moves towards the right without changing the state. So note down this observation in this table. Next observation is Q2 skipped all the B's, moves towards the right. without changing the state again note down this observation in this table next observation is q3 has skipped this b y and a while moving towards the left without changing the state so note down this observation in this table okay we will again update this table after the second iteration and during the second iteration In the second iteration we have to replace this a with x this b with y and this c with z so q not on reading a will replace it 
with X takes a right move and changes its shape to Q1. Q1 on reading Y will skip this Y, takes a right move so as to reach to the next symbol B. Friends, note this information in the table that Q1 also skips the Y's from the second iteration onward along with the A's. Got it? Now Q1 on reading B will replace it with Y takes a right move and changes its state to Q2. Q2 on reading this symbol Z will skip this Z and takes a right move so as to reach to the next C. Now update this information in this table that Q2 also skips the symbol Z from second iterations onwards along with the B's. Okay. Now Q2 on reading C will replace it with Z takes a left move and changes its state to Q3. Now Q3 will skip this Z wise and move towards the left without changing the state. So as soon as the Q3 reaches this symbol X, Turing machine will realize that it has moved one step extra. So Q3 on reading X will take a right move and changes its state to Q0. Now second iteration is also completed. Now update one more information in this table that from second iteration onwards, Q3 on moving towards the left will also skip the symbol Z along with other symbols which we have already noted in this table. Okay. Now all the A's are replaced with X. That's why this time Q0 is not pointing to the symbol A. It is pointing to the symbol Y. So Q0 on reading Y will change its state to Q4 and moves towards the right. Now responsibility of state Q4 is to verify that there should not be any symbol B or C left to be replaced towards the right side of the string when A's are, A's are already depleted. So Q4 will move towards the right skipping the symbols only if the symbol is either Y or Z. And as soon as Q4 reaches the blank symbol, Turing machine will accept the string by changing its state to final state that is Q5 and moves towards the right. Actually, it doesn't matter whether you move towards the left or right at the end because you have already changed the state to final state and accepted the string. Now let us see the transition diagram for this Turing machine. Initially, we are on state Q0. Q0 on reading A will replace it with X, takes a right move and changes its state to Q1. Now Q1 will skip A's and Y's in between without changing these, symbol, these symbols, moves towards the right and doesn't change its state. So there is a self loop. You can also check this from this table that Q1 will skip all A's and Y's. As soon as Q1 reads the symbol B, it will replace it with Y, takes a right move and changes its state to Q2. Now Q2 will skip the B's and all the Z in between, moves towards the right without changing the state. You can again check this uh, from this table that Q2 will skip all the B's and all the Z. And as soon as Q2 reads the symbol C, it will replace it with Z takes a left move and changes its state to Q3. Now Q3 will skip all the Z, B's, Y's and A's. Again you can check from the table while moving towards the left without changing the state. And as soon as Q3 reaches the symbol X, Turing machine will realize that it has moved one step extra. So Q3 on reading X will take a right move and changes its state to Q0. So through these transitions, iteratively, A's the will be replaced with X, B with Y, and C with Z. And at the end, Q0 will read the symbol Y instead of A, because all the A's are depleted. Now Q0 on reading the symbol Y, will skip this symbol, takes a right move, and changes its state to Q4. Now the responsibility of state Q4 
is to verify that there should not be any symbol B or symbol C left to be replaced towards the right side of the string when all the A's are already depleted or we can say vanished. So Q4 will move towards the right, skips all the Y's and Z's. Note an important point that if Q4 reads the symbol B or C then the string will be automatically rejected because we are not having transitions for symbol B and C from state Q4. Okay. And as soon as the state Q4 reads the symbol uh, that is a blank symbol, Turing machine will accept the string by changing its state to final state that is state Q5 moves towards the right. Got it? Now let us see the seven tuples for the Turing machine to accept the strings of the type A power n, B power n, C power n. We have six states from state Q0 to Q5. Symbols A, B and C are in input alphabet. Symbols A, B, C, blank symbol, X, Y and Z are tape symbols. Transition function we have already discussed through transition diagram. Q0 is the initial state, capital B is the blank symbol and in the set of final states we have state Q5. So that's all in this lecture. If you like the video click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.